Me first. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 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 12 days, 2 hours, 3 minutes, 37 seconds. Sorry. What a day. What a day. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Well, so, so there's a little story about Lance. There's always a story with Lance, right? He's on the river in White Mountain. So I left him on the river as I was coming in there and they rang the bell and I was fumbling around and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so he's he's resident of White Mountain. Uh, for another year. So this is probably the coolest thing ever. I've never seen a crowd like this in all of my finishes. So coming in last year. It's really cool. Thank you. Faces under the arches waiting for you. You know, prior champions. Yeah, no, it's way cool. Wade and Hunter came out to safety. That was just like a total boost. Um, it's always good to have friends and fans, but close friends like them guys to come cheer you on down the trail is it's just priceless. We saw that Jed ran with you a fair amount. When I asked him what it was like to run with you, he said, "There's nothing tougher than a Mackie." What do you say? <laughs> what do you say about running with Jed? Well, you know, he. Uh, I asked him a few times what, how, what he thought of it. He said, "Well, I cry multiple times a day." He said, "It's." He said, "It's exceeded my expectations." He said, "I had high expectations, and it's, it's, it has exceeded it." So, I think his mission is accomplished. It seems like there's always a challenge. It's kind of like Murphy's Law with Mackey's. It's just Mackey's Law. Yeah. We've watched you run the last 123 miles with five dogs. Yeah. What was running through your head when you started dropping nine, seven, six, and then down to that five? Five is required to finish. You know, I uh, at one point, so I left Eagle Island. The wind had just kicked up. Tyrell said it hadn't blown since he got there. Just as I was fixing to leave, it started to blow. For the next seven and a half hours, it blew like hell. And uh, at that point, I was wondering what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> So, and then got to Shack Tulik. I came into Shack Tulik in absolute blizzard. Stayed there for, I don't know, 14 hours or something. And then headed back out across the ice with six dogs, bucking 35 mile an hour winds. And uh, again, thought, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> so, but it's just what we do. You don't give up. Uh, you know, and the dogs, you got five dogs that bust their butt for me day in, day out. So you put your head down and go to work and join them. Did the fact that you were carrying not only Lance's but your mom's ashes play into that decision to keep going? Yeah, no. That's just... You won't tell them. No, that's... Um, I guess it's in our blood. It's in every mushroom's blood. That's what we do. We don't give up. And, you know, if you do throw in the towel, there's a certain reason for it. It's not because you're not tough enough to do it. Everybody that runs dogs and has, has competed and completed the Iditarod is tougher than most. I would agree with that. Yeah. So you took a couple of years break. Yep. This was a big year as Lance was the, legend, uh, the honorary musher. What's next for you? Is Mac back for more? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. 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 So, uh, unfortunately, um, I was hampered with... Uh, Diarrhea with the dogs right from Finger Lake from day two, and it just progressed through the team. I uh, had a few minor injuries that could have been dealt with, but but the diarrhea was getting out of control, so I just started sending dogs home, and we ended up, I have two in here that finally came through. This morning we finally, um, was the first morning without any diarrhea in the team, so they made it, yep. Along the trail, you made some stops. Where was the special places that you stopped this race? Well, you know, I didn't think they were, were all special stops. They were all needed stops. <laughs> Finishing the race, the Red Lantern, everybody's in safe and sound. On behalf of the Linden Family Companies, we'd like to congratulate you and welcome to know. Well, I appreciate it very right. much. And, uh,
And one more thing before we do one more the responsibility the widow's lamp. to extinguish right. the widow's lamp. The widow's lamp that means it has been hanging off here in the royal arches since the day the first washer was inspected. So cool. It's lit to signify that there's still a washer on the trail and to signify a safe landing. Just like a lighthouse that's there to be watched. Yes. All, done. Cool. All right. All right. To extinguish and up.